Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cbrev. Welcome to another episode of What Would Brev Do? This is the series where I play an entire ranked game and I talk about what's going on in my head the entire time. Uh, we are doing the last team build from the tier list video we posted about a week ago. Uh, link in the description below if you missed it. But this is what I said was the best team possible if you had access to every card in the game. So we did finally pick up McCutcheon so we can do this team build. Uh, obviously, I made that tier list video before Austin Riley came out. And Austin Riley is absolutely God Squad worthy. So just a couple of notes on where I would probably play him. Uh, personally, I would consider benching Frank for him. Or I would consider benching Home Run Derby J-Rod. I would move Soto to le or Soto to right and play Riley in left. That could be really good. And then I'd put uh, J-Rod on the bench replacing Fran Mill. Or you could just do Riley on the bench replacing Fran Mill either way. Uh, but this is the squad, the God Squad. Uh, the rotation is looking like Randy Corbin, Sandy Nolan Ryan and Bob Feller. Nolan Ryan uh, moving up a bit in the last week or so since I've been playing. I really think he's good. Uh, tried to record the last gameplay with him pitching and the guy quit in like the third inning. So a bit of a bummer there. I uh, also do have Al Leiter in my top five, but I don't have the card yet because I'm not in World Series. So uh, I actually slid Corbin Burns down to sixth on the rankings, so he'd be the odd man out. So the ideal best rotation, in my opinion, would be Randy, uh, Ryan, Sandy, Feller, and Leiter. And then the bullpen is looking like Finger Soto, Lopez, Britton Gossage, Hader Williams, and Chapman. So let's see if we can get it done. Unfortunately, I don't have Austin Riley yet. I haven't done the grind, so that's why he's not on the squad. But personally, I like J-Rod probably more than, more, more than most people. So I think I'll mess around with Riley over Frank. We'll see how that goes. It's an easy righty-righty change, too. Um, if you saw the ranking, though, we're at 882, so likely that we're not in uh, to World Series with a win here, but definitely possible. If the game's on Legend, it pretty much guarantees that we'll make World Series if we win, so it's kind of a catch-22 where <laughs> I kind of want to see Legend, I kind of don't. And uh, by the way, we'll be pitching with uh, Bob Feller here. I don't really want to throw Randy. It's kind of lame. I don't know. I don't know if anyone wants to see me pitch with Randy, and Feller was a bit of a controversial one in the top five, so we might as well feature him. We are facing Corbin Burns yet again. I feel like I face this card all the time. We are the home team, though. Love to see it. And pitching with Feller isn't anything too crazy, I would say. Uh, I definitely think I'm more, like, willing to walk people with Bob. Like, it, let's, let's call a spade a spade. His control is not good. Um... So I try to throw like aim pitches like in a spot where if I throw a ball it's like fine, which kind of ends up with me nibbling a lot. Uh, but I think his stuff is just so gross that sometimes you can get people to take kind of ugly swings even if you hang one. We'll see how it goes in this one though. Uh, obviously Randy available in our potential World Series game, but I don't know. Just doesn't do it for me. Definitely try to like uh, work off the sinker. This is something I talk about. You know, I talked about it with Bobby Miller. The Nolan Ryan video I just did that's not going to be a video because he quit in the third inning. I was talking about it too. But guys with outlier fastball and non-outlier sinker, it's typically pretty good, especially early, early in the game to kind of just like throw the sinker as the primary pitch and work off of that because it allows you to go up and down with your velocity instead of just down. And it kind of, it's kind of a good pitch to really get a feel for where like your opponent's bat speed's at. So I like doing that with Bob. But this is kind of a lot with Bob. And this is maybe why people don't like him as much. Um, control is kind of all over the place. I just think his stuff is really gross. I find him really hard to hit. Uh, our opponent's very early there in a 2-0 count. So immediately that tells me he's sitting fastball. So let's try a change up in a 2-1 count here. And the nice part about Bob is he does have the outlier fastball. Uh, we're never giving him a f outlier here, by the way. We'll just throw this pitch. Um, but his off speed is like really slow, which I think is nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's sitting on something. He's getting another sinker. I think I just throw another get me over. But the swings he's been taking, I don't want to give him a freebie walk. So here you go. Look at Dansby taking away a double or a triple. And that's kind of how it goes with Bob. I don't know. He just finds the glove. Not the best pitch. Threw a sinker right down the middle. Good timing. Still got an out. Now we go back to work nibbling against Brett. So, Jeez, that early release. 
Effectively wild for sure. This is another pitch I like, kind of like a belt high change up inside. Tunnels really well with the up and in fastball. If it ends up off the plate, it's fine. Really trying hard to stay away from the outlier four seam from this guy though early. It's based on the first couple of swings he took, it's pretty much what he's looking for. There's another one. And this is why the sinker is so good. Um, he's going to be expecting off speed here though, so I think I just bust him. Yeah, we'll go up and in. It's fine. If he turns on it, it's whatever. Missed my spot there. Showed it to him though. Let's try a slider in at the feet now. Then we'll probably go four seam three two since he crushed the slider last time. We give him the swing though, or crush the sinker is what I meant. Good stuff. We'll throw a four seamer for show here. Since he may be looking to make an adjustment after a couple of outs to start this game, and it looks like he is. Throw this slider in at the feet again. Yeah, I don't know. This may be... I don't know how you guys are going to feel about the Bob Feller gameplay. I don't know, because I, I really think the best way to pitch with him is just like try to hit the corner, and if you miss, it's fine, because sometimes people do that. I don't know how that's not a swing, by the way. <laughs> Give me a break. But it's uh it's pretty hard to stay disciplined enough to just like take your walks against Bob. Especially when you're constantly pressing to like not get beat by the outlier. Look at McCutcheon making a play here. I might have had him out with a perfect throw. It's whatever. He swung early at a curveball off the plate. It's pretty much what you want to see there. Can't be upset about it. We'll go back to nibbling. And I say nibbling, but you never really know where the pitch is going to end up with Bob, right? But again, the oof, sitting four seam still. Got to respect it, especially after I uh, got him flailing at that changeup. Dang it, dude. Uh, but yeah, what I was starting to say is with Bob, like, this stuff is so nasty that even if you miss your spot, it's usually fine. I think this is the fifth video in a row that I am giving up a run, at least one run in the first inning, by the way. <laughs> this is unbelievable. It's really weird that he just like full committed to the four seam with the Brian Reynolds at bat. I didn't really give him a reason to. Huh. I mean, it's a good swing. If he was sitting on it, he was sitting on it. I don't know what else I could have done. We'll elevate a fastball here since we have a strike to give, and then we'll probably go change up 3-2. Good take from him. I definitely don't want to go sinker again. I definitely don't want to go four seam, so. We'll see if we can catch the corner. Got him swinging early. Uh, we'll go slider down and in. Maybe this is a ball. Maybe it's a strike. Who knows? Got him swinging a late. Cut should get to this, hopefully. Look at him playing center field beautifully. Well. One crushed ball from Brian Reynolds gives up gives up two runs. We will try to put in work against Burns. I can't even tell you how many of these videos specifically I've done hitting against Corbin Burns, so if I sound like a broken record at this point, I'm sorry, but typically what you'll see facing Burns, most people go arm side sinkers and glove side cutters. Uh, that's typically what they like to work off of, so that's what I like to sit on early in the game. This guy is already pitching very strange, though, so I can tell that he is uh, not going to be as predictable as some of the other Burns pitchers. Either that or he's just really scared of McCutcheon. <laughs> That's definitely a possibility, too. Five-pitch walk there for Andrew. This is a great spot to drag bunt, by the way. I'm not going to do it, but just for the sake of discussing correct plays, I can basically get a sacrifice bunt with upside here. Uh, if I wanted to drag bunt a second. What am I looking for here? Dang. Have I seen a sinker yet? I don't think I have. I got to protect against that inside then, I guess. Yeah. So, <laughs> that looks like an insane read, and I guess it kind of was. But sometimes you can tell by the pitches they're not throwing what they're trying to do with their, like, sequencing. Like, him not throwing a single sinker for, what, like, the first ten pitches of the game with Corbin is definitely weird. 
Uh, not something you see from Corbin from pretty much anyone. So it's kind of a tip-off in a way that when he gets me into a spot where he finds it advantageous, he's going to want to go to that sinker, and it doesn't get more advantageous than right on right, you're up 0-2, and you're looking for a double play, right? So we might as well sit on that. Luckily, he threw it, and it worked out. And immediately we get the momentum right back. The Scott squad lineup is crazy. Now he's trying to generate double plays outside with cutters. Since he kind of, we kind of showed him that the sinker in's not going to work, right? So this, this is actually a lot of mind gaming going on here. Hmm, that's great. I wonder if he tried to catch the corner there. I'm lucky that I didn't hit into a double play. Woo, I missed that so bad. I can't believe it left. That's what 125 power does, I guess. <laughs> That's why I really don't want to bench J-Rod, dude. He does stuff like that for me all the time. Disgusting home run. God squad. Putting in work. You get stuff like that when you're using the best cards in the game. It's really fun. <laughs> 20 pitches, 4 runs, and nobody's made an out yet. And he hangs a slider. Man, this game might not last very long, which is sad. Because the last game didn't last very long either. Frank to dead center also doesn't want to get benched. Who am I going to take out for Riley? Please don't quit, man. Please don't quit. Just warm up another starter or something. <laughs> warm up Randy. Do it. All right, that seemed like a warm-up. Oh, Lord. Rob this. <laughs> I'm actively rooting against myself. <laughs> Dude, I need the content. This God Squad is insane, bro. I'm obviously going to swing at that, too. We're feeling ourselves. The approach has kind of gone out the window a bit this inning, but can you really blame me? Oh, that was terrible. All right, well, we threw the second half of this inning, or like the, the third third of the inning. Not the worst thing for us, though. Maybe we can get a full game play out of it. And we do have Bob on the mound, so, I mean, I said this in a previous video, but I think pitchers, like, as far as starting pitcher rankings in the game right now, I think pitchers, like, 3 through 20 for me are all pretty close. Like... They all have games where they get shelled. They all have games where it seems like they're unhittable. Really like Randy and Nolan. And maybe even Valenzuela in a way, but I still don't know if I'd put Valenzuela top five. Those are about the only guys I use consistently that like very rarely get torched. So I think Nolan and Randy are my solid one too. And then after that, it's like unironically like 20 guys who are all around the same power level. You just have to put someone in the top five, right? All that's to say, Feller can definitely get hit around, and this game is not over by any means. Going to be very hard for him to stay disciplined, too, with uh, being down four and lack of momentum now, too. He's doing a good job, though. There's no way I'm throwing him a four seam again. He actually was ready for the sinker there. We get a lucky double play. Look at Jackie with the turn. Okay, so that's a good note to take moving forward. Um, he made the adjustment there where before he was sitting four seam fastball when he was ahead in the count looking to do damage. That time he swung just late at a sinker, which means basically tells me he was sitting sinker. So next time we get behind in the count like that, we're just going to pump the four seam right at him. First 0-2 count we've had in a while, I feel like. We get him to chase. Bob's so hard to hit if he gets ahead in the count. All right. Is he going to the pen here? Kershaw. Nice. This is his second starter, so this means this guy's probably committed to this whole game now. Can't say that I, uh, I'm too scared of Kershaw, especially with the lineup we have. Six righties in the lineup. And Kershaw also has a uh, very fatal flaw. In this game that I've discovered this year that 
I'm debating in my head right now whether I want to share in this video. We'll see if we get someone on base first. That's the worst swing I've ever taken. And the most obvious pitch I've ever seen. I don't know what I was doing there. <laughs> I'm about to score six on Corbin in the first and then get diced by Kershaw, aren't I? I haven't seen this card much, to be honest. Obviously, it doesn't throw very hard, so... We'll just try to look the pitches in a little bit longer and make sure that there's strikes before we swing. Good job. <laughs> well executed. Okay. Interesting. Kershaw's owning me. I'm going to sit up for this. What do I need to do against Kersh here? These first two at-bats have been gross. I don't I don't usually like sitting slider against Kershaw because it's hard to score up because he throws it so hard and it moves a ton. I haven't seen a four seam maybe a couple times so far. Maybe I just sit on four seam till two strikes. Look at that pitch is so gross. Nice change. We go down and get it though. George Brett's so good, man. All right, we got a guy on base. And I already gave you guys the teaser, I guess, so I'll just say it. Kershaw tips his pitches if you don't come set with him all the way. So let's see if this guy throws his pitches right away. I'll try to read the pitch. This is a changeup. I don't even know if I'm going to get a hit here because I'm reading the pitch. Is he listening to me, dude? What is this? <laughs> no shot. But yeah, he only shows his grip on the ball if you don't come set all the way. Looks like this guy figured it out, maybe. I guess you only have to come set, like, up to above his head. What an insane read this guy just had. Maybe he's seeing what I'm seeing. All right, let's try to get a hit with Julio now. We did, but we're not going to score because we hit it too hard. Frank with a big opportunity, though. Yeah, if he shows you only one finger, it's a slider. If he shows you like a split two finger grip, it's a change up and then the fastball is just a standard two finger grip. But you can see like he's just countering it by just like bringing the ball all the way above his head. That's a slider. He threw it too early there. So I guess that's just a read on Kershaw. If you're pitching with him, it's very easy to fix, which I guess is good. It's a lot better than like O'Day last year who tipped and you couldn't really do anything about it. Change up. Ooh, I read that one wrong. Change up. Okay, I guess change up fastball looks pretty similar grip. I still haven't seen many reps against this card. Change up. Okay. It looks like... I don't know. Is this even useful information? That was a great swing, by the way. I'm big sad. Uh, we're waiting in case he wants to pinch hit. But judging by the fact that he went to a starter and not a reliever, it means he probably wants to commit to Kershaw for a couple innings. But yeah, Kershaw tipping his pitches unless you bring the ball all the way above your head. And he only does it in the stretch. He absolutely doesn't tip pitches in the windup. So Kershaw is very far from unusable. It's just a very good thing to know when you're pitching with him. Just make sure you aren't throwing the ball right away when you're pitching with him out of the stretch. Making sure I'm recording and the mic's on. Both things are true. Nice. How do I want to attack? Going second time through the order here. I don't think I really want to change much. Except uh, what we talked about earlier, which is throwing the four seam when I'm behind in the count instead of the sinker. We're ahead in the count with Feller again. This is where you want to be. Really, you're trying to nibble and, like, steal some strikes or get them to swing a junk, and then once you're ahead in the count, his stuff is so gross, you really are just, like, in a huge advantage. And his off speed's so much slower than anything else he throws. That was a great swing, though. McCutcheon plays insane center field. Jeez, dude, the jump he got on that ball. 
I am so excited about this Kutch card. I think I started 0 for 3 with him, though. Great swing but for my opponent. I think Kutch is 0 for 3 with 3Ks. We hang a curve to Brett. It wasn't even really hung. Uh, maybe I'm spamming too much off speed. Hmm. I don't really want to throw a four seam now, though. It's a bit obvious. We'll go sinker. Our opponent's playing fine to good. I can't really get a read on him. It's kind of just the bomb feller experience, I guess. Uh, I'm going to try to paint a four seam low and in. Since last time we threw a slider, I had an account. He took it. Yeah. Beautiful. So that's just, he took the last slider we threw in that tunnel, so it made me think maybe he's, like, just not going to swing at it if it comes in looking that way because he thinks it's a slider, so he steal a strike there. Back to the MVP of the game so far, Juan with a grand slam. Pitching me inside with the shift on pretty good. Got to be conscious of the sliders away now. There it is. Honestly, pretty good cut. Did all we could do with that. Went against the shift. We just unfortunately hit it right at the only guy over there. Seems to happen a lot. Shift on again with Dansby, so for, we'll look for stuff outside. If he continues to pitch us inside with the shift on, too, uh, we may have to try to like just turn on one and lift it just to tell him that we won't have any of it. But luckily, he hangs a slider for us there right down the middle. That was an easy... Easy cut. We take those. Thought he might go uh, four seam right after there. There's the four seam. 80 power though from Napoli's weaker side. It's not going to leave. Dang it, dude. Tough stuff. <laughs> Only going to score one this inning. Feels bad. <clears throat> I've recorded like several of these videos in a row because we're going out of town. So my voice may or may not make it through the rest of this one. This was the last one I was planning on recording anyways. Uh, Reynolds took us 500 feet on the last fastball we threw to him. So he's getting a lot of off speed for sure. This is still a very losable game, by the way. So we need to just make sure like we're doing fine offensively. We honestly hit super well last inning. Just got a bit unlucky with the Napoli at bat. I don't think I've thrown a changeup just straight down in the dirt yet. Let's see if we can get a swing and miss here. Almost. All right, let's for run the four seam up and out. This is good in case he is sitting on it. He's going to be early. Whereas if I threw it up and in, he'd be perfect. Now we're going to throw it. Around belt high outside. And he's late. So pitching backwards seems to be working now. Although we threw a first pitch curveball to Brett and he was ready. So maybe something like just throwing four seam with two strikes, but trying to mix it up before then. He was late there. Makes sense. We've thrown a lot of changeups down and in, so... Good mix up from us, I suppose. He's late side of good. We're going to go up and in fastball just for show. I don't like this pitch much, especially against this guy who's clearly capable of hitting outlier. But we steal it out there. Sometimes you got to show it. Could tell one of the lower power hitters in his lineup, so worth a shot there. Back to the top of the order. Hopefully, Kutch can uh, get his first hit on the squad. He needs a pitch like Dan's we got. <laughs> oh, that'll work. <laughs> oh, this card is fun. Plays insane defense, too. Like, the main thing I've been missing from my squad for, like, months at this point in the year was a right-handed bat that plays good center field defense. And what did we get? This Kutch collection. So crazy. I was literally rocking Soriano for like an entire month because that he was the perfect guy for that spot. But Kutch is even more perfect. Three sliders there. Pretty bad at bat. 
I was kind of talking a lot, but I shouldn't get beat by the same pitch three times in a row, especially with the handedness advantage. That was pretty bad. Brett's two for two. Seems like he's staying away from the four seam after that catch home run. That was disgusting. <laughs> uh, he just played me so hard. I don't know in what world I think it's okay to take that pitch. Like, what else is it going to be? After I hit that bomb with Kutch, I just phoned in the rest of the inning, I guess. Terrible at bats. Terrible, terrible at bats. Which is not good. Like I said, a losable game for sure. Only up five. Need to, uh, did this guy bond with Dominguez? I, all these games I played tonight are blurring together. I don't think it was this guy. I'm not going to put the bun defense on. Someone I just played was bunting with Dominguez, but it, I don't think it was him. Wow, we got him to chase like a 50-foot change up there. Probably the worst swing he's taken all game. I will take it. Six Ks for Bob. So we've given up two bombs, three runs, but we've also struck out six. Half the batter, half the outs we've gotten have been strikeouts. He is a three true outcomes pitcher, I suppose. Still not really sure where our opponent's bat speed's at, so we're trying to mix it up a bit. We'll go slider in at the feet, into fastball up and away, into fastball down and in. The reason we want to finish with fastball down and in is because he'll probably be looking for slider after fastball, but we get him to chase that one. Is Kershaw done? Doesn't look like it. Interesting. I... I don't know. I don't know what this guy's rating's at, if he's just doing innings for the ranked seasons program or what, but if your goal is to win this game specifically, you have to pinch hit here. That's what I'll say. Maybe he's playing the long game. Maybe his bullpen's tired. I don't know, but not pinch hitting here is like a give up play, which if you were going to give up, you probably should have just left already before you burned a second starter. Who knows? Definitely weird. Like it could be his World Series game, but in this, in that case, he would definitely want to pinch it. Whatever, I'll take my out. I guess I've only scored two and in three innings instead of six and in one inning off Burns. <laughs> Maybe he just like it feels like it gives him the best chance to keep the game close. I don't know. Hoping to get at least another guy on base so I can show you guys the tip pitch thing again. Up and away change. Don't see that very often. I will not chase sliders inside. This guy's getting fancy. Holy cow. I will not chase the slider in. I chased a slider in. <laughs> His slider is so fast compared to everything else he throws. It's wild. Good at bat from Frank here, though. The lefty killer. And that's a single, I think. Who is playing in left? Yeah, no shot. I didn't even touch first base before he fielded the ball. <laughs> Whatever. We get a guy on base for the tip pitches stuff again. So remember, if you're pitching with a Kershaw, make sure the ball gets all the way above his head like this guy just did. He probably could have waited just a little bit longer. I think I saw the tip of his finger there. This is slider. And even though we know what pitch is coming, we are... I thought I hit into a double play. But we get lucky that the second baseman was covering the bag. Slider again, I think. 
He needs to come set just a little bit longer. Yeah, like that. But again, if you only see one finger, it's slider for sure. Couldn't see anything there. Definitely a scary spot for him, man. We can think about pinch hitting too. This is fastball. Oh. I know too much. Change up. Oh. See, I'm getting a bit of bad reads too. Like it's not 100%. It's hard to see. Like the ball's so small. <laughs> I don't know. It's something like. It's just good information to know, but it's not perfect. At least not to the extent that I face Kershaw enough to see it. Uh, I'm actually going to warm the pen up here. This might look insane, but we have a legitimate chance to put this game away this inning. Who do I want to go with that's not like Feller? Probably Lopez. Fingers makes the most sense, but he's my closer. I don't want to burn him. So we'll go. I want more of a finesse guy or like a sinker guy, I guess. So we'll go Lopez Britton. I just want something different than Feller has been, which is outlier. But uh, if we get bases loaded here with the pitcher spot up, definitely worth pinch hitting. We're just going to end the inning, though. Rough game for Napoli, dude. It's a big deal not scoring that inning, man. It's, uh, <laughs> again, very losable game. We're, we're leaving Feller in now, which I would have been fine taking him out. Lots of missed opportunities. This is, uh, we played kind of bad after that first inning. Feller's control seems to have been a lot better though as we move through the game. I think it's the confidence rising. Disgusting off-speed pitch. Nine strikeouts. Can we get to double digits in the sixth inning? Our opponent has slowed his bat way down too, so we're getting a lot of these fastballs by him. Uh oh. <laughs> Classic Bob. Hangs a change up, gets away with it. Definitely wanted that more off the plate. Uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna paint low and away here. He might be sitting low and in. Oh, that's gross. I, I wanted to go fastball low, but I didn't want to throw it inside because that pitch makes the most sense for me to tunnel off the slider I just threw, and I thought he might be ready for that. So we try to stay one step ahead of it there. Feller kind of struggling energy-wise, though. Even, like, best-case scenario, he might only give us, like, seven innings. We'll see. He's already approaching 80 pitches. Pitching backwards has generally worked out really well for us, though, since, like, the middle innings. Kind of dominant inning there. We won't pinch hit here with nobody on. He's uh, got a solid relief appearance from Kirsch, though. If I wasn't uh, trying to pick up on the pitches, I wonder if I would hit better. Who knows? Let's see if Kutch can do some more damn. Gotta imagine I'm getting a healthy dose of sliders here. Because uh, it worked against Jackie, and I hit a home run off the four seam with Kutch. There's a slider. I can't believe I hit that out late side of good. McCutcheon is an absolute glitch. <laughs> That's crazy. God, that's a pop out for like every other card I've used. Jackie just underneath it. Dang it. Just missed. See who he goes here against uh, Brad again. Last time he caught us looking with a four-seamer in. 
Definitely don't want to have any of that. A slider right down the pipe that we're going to line out on. Dang it. Good inning. Feller stays in for now. If we have a good inning from Bob, then his Kershaw probably stays in also. He is so early there. Kutch, how good are you? He's not going to get there in time. Oh, Brian Reynolds killing me, man. It's a pretty gross home run. But I guess I got a really gross one with uh, J-Rod first inning. Bob Feller experience, dude. <laughs> Low whip, moderately high ERA, insane caper nine. Hmm. I'm getting pretty repetitive with my sequencing. I've given up, given up exactly one hit this game that wasn't a bomb. This is an interesting move when you're still down four as the away team. <laughs> All right, dude. I respect it. We're going to mound visit for Bob here. Uh, we're going to do it after this batter, actually, because I don't want to pause now. Like, I'm just trying to mound visit, but I don't want him to get the idea that I'm, like, rattled by his replay, so I'm not going to pause. Uh, I might just not even mound visit now. Maybe if he gets a guy on. That's, uh... One of the crazier replays I've ever seen. Ball didn't even go that far. Well, you know we're going to do it to him back if we get the chance. This is, I don't know. This is a pretty normal game for like most pitchers that I'd say are good to average right now. Like... I think most games, if I go seven innings, giving up five, that's pretty normal. Just seems like it's a time in the year where hitters are a bit better than pitchers. There's just like a lot of middle of the road pitchers to be had. Feller definitely not getting the swings and misses he was getting earlier in the game and not fooling him as much either. Let's try to bury another change up straight down. Last time he chased it, we got another ball to give. Almost. We'll bring it all the way for full circle and go back to the sinker here since he has done better against the four seam as of late. He was late on it. Sitting off speed there. All right, well, he's getting the four seam now. We'll go outside yet again just in case he's sitting on it. He'll be early instead of good. This is maybe not the best pitch. We'll see. Kutch does it all. <laughs> oh, we get him back. Yes, we do. <laughs> Amazing. Best card in the game. What in the world? Oh, the replay karma, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he is seething. What an insane swing he took. That was the best swing he took all game. Oh my god. These are the moments we live for, dude. He is seething. Should I walk Cruz so he has to take Kershaw out too? He'd probably be upset about it. Whatever, we'll take our out. Oh, that's amazing. The cherry on top is if we immediately start scoring right back. But yeah, seven innings, five earned for Bob. I'll take that all day. Looks like he's going to get away from Kirsch anyways. What a perfect replay counter. <laughs> I was just going to replay a home run back, but robbing his home run and then hitting replay is even better. We're going to go Hater next inning, I think. Hater Williams is good, and then I really want to try to go Raleigh for the ninth. J-Rod, change up in. This is what we want to see. Do we replay this one too? 
I think we replay everything we can the rest of the game. Is this toxic? <laughs> I'm like a child on the playground. He started it. I don't know. You got some uh, gall to be replaying stuff down 9-5. What a beautiful home run. He's probably getting away from Kirsch now. I don't know. Maybe that was a mound visit. Getting away from Kirsch, but also still going lefty. Weird. Alright, against Soto. His changeup's not great. So if I see it, I try to swing at it. Otherwise, I'm sitting sinker fastball. I pretty rarely swing at the slider, and I think his slider's his best pitch. So I try to avoid swinging at it if I can help it, because it's really hard to square up, and it comes in really hard. He seems to agree, as he's thrown it three times with two strikes. What do we get here? Slider, probably. Who knows? Too cute there, man. We'll take our walk. Soto get his second bomb of the game. Don't know how I missed that pitch. That's sad. Left on left's a bit tougher, too, because they throw the slider a lot more. And like I said, I think it's his best pitch. I have a pretty hard time hitting Soto left on left, to be honest. Fighting for our lives there. Terrible swing. Into an amazing take. Will we go sinker in again? Sinker up and out. Do we get all of it? I'm just going to run. Didn't seem like he was going to catch that, so I actually sent the runners right away. I think we might still be out at home. Oh, he went cut off. Nice. We definitely don't score if we don't send the runner there. Could have probably hit into a double play. I don't even know if that was the right call, but it worked out. Into another sinker. That's getting down. Stay at one for Dance B. And obviously, if we get to the pitcher spot here, we're pinch hitting. Because we were planning on taking Feller out anyway, and we can push towards a mercy rule here if we can keep the hits going. Sometimes I feel like Napoli's swing is too quick, man. He says while swinging late. All right, no sliders inside. We're laying off. That was not inside. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Do we replay it on him? I think he gets the point. Let's just hit another dinger and move on with our lives. Let's, uh... Yeah, I guess we burn two bench bats here since we're already heading into the eighth inning. He's not even going to bother countering, so we just get Castellanos for free. And mess it up. All right, Kutch for the walk-off. He done it all this game. He's literally pressing so hard, <laughs> trying to get this game over with. Oh, leave it a little bit more up this time. Wow. Swung first pitch, three at-bats in a row, and now I'm going to get a burn a bullpen arm. The misplay. Goldie. I generally like going change up low and into righties with Hater, especially with two strikes. And I try to throw it somewhere like here with the par where I'm not upset if it catches the zone, but most of the time I want it outside the zone. It's kind of generally how I like try to aim my par in general. It's almost like uh, poker in a way, where like you decide in certain situations you probably want to fold like 40% of the time and like call 30% of the time, raise 30% of the time or something. It's maybe a bit too advanced for what I'm trying to explain. And not the same game, but 
Some of you may get it. That's his second strikeout. Now batting. Stepping in, Third George basement. Brett. This George guy is one of the best athletes Brett. in the sport. At the belt and fire. I really like front door sliders against lefties too. I think this pitch is really gross, especially since uh, his two seam primary outlier is like his best pitch now. Like people are gonna sit inside and try to turn on the fastball. It's a great pitch. All right, let's get one and get out of here. Your attention, please. Really would not like to throw Hater for two innings. I wonder if I burn a random bullpen arm too. I'm gonna warm somebody up that I don't really care about in high leverage spots. Problem is my whole bullpen is good now. <laughs> this is a lot better, easier to do earlier in the year. Uh, no, it's fine. I, I would probably go Chapman, but I don't want to have two only two lefties available next game. So we'll just tank Hater's energy, I suppose. It won't matter if we can score a single run. So far, looking good. I am going to take this pitch since he's been a little erratic. I'm sad about it. Definitely not taken here. That may leave. That's a double. Good start, though. Hung three straight off-speed pitches. Probably doesn't want to walk me, so what can you do? J-Rod with a runner in scoring position. Already three for four. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Sometimes that deke works. Sometimes they, like, stop and throw to third or something. Might as well practice it, whatever. Kind of screwed us this inning, though. Good swing over the top of it. This guy seems really upset at me. All right, 3-1. We'll probably send the runner 3-2 if we get there. 99 speed. We are going to. Throws a slider right down the middle, which we are barely underneath. We're going to fly out to the track. Dang it. Decent swing. We got Soto up now. <laughs> Trying to get the mercy. I haven't faced Helsley much either. Oh! Ball was pieced. Oh, that's annoying. <clears throat> All we had to do was score one the end of the last inning or that inning, and now we're going to burn hater energy because of it for no reason. Hopefully we have a quick inning. Been an unfortunate result for our opponent there. One down in the ninth. I don't think we're going to hit World Series off this, which is a bummer. I think the only time I get plus 18s is when I'm playing someone above my rating. And the fact that this game's not on Legend makes it pretty unlikely that he's above my rating. Like, it's not impossible, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's get out of the game first. If we did make World Series, that would be insane. Swanson? Get a little reckless with my pitching. <clears throat> Props to him, though, staying in here. He's just going to steal second for free, I think. He's not going. This is defensive indifference, so he could just do it. There he goes. Nice. Two down, though. We get him swinging through with Devers. One out to go. Could tell Marte is the nemesis. 
Hater's so nasty with his outlier, man. I feel like he's way better than he was before. I thought he was pretty good before. How did he not swing at that? <laughs> Get out of here. Dang it. Will we get a replay? The send-off replay. Down seven. I'd probably press the button if I was him. I'm not going to lie. I probably would do it. There it is. <laughs> Let's go, Hamlet. <laughs> uh, nice. A fitting end to the game. A poetic form of closure for both of us. All right, for the love of God, can I please get a single out? Now here is Jason Dominguez, the batter, the center fielder. And first off, is fouled off. Dominguez. We're gonna do it. All right, GGS, fourteen to seven. God Squad puts up fourteen. Pretty much what I expected all the way around. I expected tons of offense with the God Squad on Hall of Fame. I expected. Feller to do about what he did. Did we make World Series? We get a plus 17 to go to 899. <laughs> that is tough. Maybe we'll throw Randy in the World Series game then. Who knows? Regardless, appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. Hope you guys learned something. And uh, until next time, take care.